Hello Calculus students and seekers of truth. In this video we will continue our study of logistic functions and this time I would like to derive a general formula or general solution for the point of inflection for changes in for a logistic function. So it would be right here. Okay? And before we launch into it, I just want to say the point of inflection here is a very crucial point when we're dealing with real world problems. For example, if you look at, let's say there was an infectious disease, initially not many people have it, then lots of people have it, it grows exponentially. But when we reach the point of inflection, that's when the the number of people who are infected are still growing but they're growing at an at a decreasing rate and where the number of people are the population of the people who are infected are is kind of leveling off and so there's a there's kind of a, a, a stability that that occurs after we we fig we get to the point of inflection okay now in the examples that we worked through earlier we know that if this was 100 then this would have to be that this would be 50 right if you look at the previous video and a natural question that springs to everyone's mind is well 50 is half of 100 is that always the case or is it going to be like or was that just the, the result of us having a really nice example with 100 okay so the only way to figure that out is to figure it out all right, so let's get into this equation. We're going to go back to the basic principle here, this equation right here, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to graph this equation on the x-y axis. So here's the equation right here, and if we are going to graph p along the horizontal and dp dt along the vertical um, you can see as before we're going to get a parabola okay, a parabola that opens downwards okay? um, where are the x-intercept well zero is going to be one of them right so if we set this equal to zero we can see this work here whoops this is one minus p over k and then we can separate it, right? Zero equals R times P, and zero equals one minus P over K. So here, if P is equal to zero, that's going to be one of our solutions. And again, this is going to be a open circle because the population isn't ever zero. And over here, when we solve this, P over K is going to equal to one. And so P is going to equal to K. So here, another open circle. This is going to be equal to k. And the halfway point between 0 and k is k over 2. And so at this point right here, this is precisely where the derivative will go from increasing to decreasing. And the function p with respect to t will go from increasing at an increasing rate to increasing at a decreasing rate and this is a little bit unusual because we sort of we, we have found something about the inflection point but we actually found the y value of the inflection point and what remains is for us to find the x value depending on the circumstances so it wasn't a coincidence that that when the carrying capacity was 100 the um, the point of inflection occurred when the population was at 50 when we work out this within the general formula that's exactly what we get okay? so very nice um, update here to our list of of information about logistic functions they are either always increasing or always decreasing the always increasing is by far more common there is a change in concavity there's a point of inflection that occurs when p is equal to half of the carrying capacity. As always, thank you for watching. Keep working hard and have a wonderful day.